My name is Raj Khan. This video is going to be very different because in this video I'm going to tell you something that I haven't told anybody in a long time. And it's funny because you can understand me perfectly here on my channel and also when I'm talking to you if you're my student. You know that you can understand me because I try to speak clearly. Oh, okay, I'm going to tell you a story. I was with one of my students and we were at a pub then I invited some of my friends to join us. My friends are British and when they joined us my student couldn't understand me anymore and he was like right I can't understand you anymore and then yeah because of that I'm, I'm making this video to explain why it happens and why you can understand the teachers here on Instagram you can understand your teachers at school and sometimes you can't understand them when they speak naturally to you but before we start the video please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment it's really important and okay Without any further ado, let's get started. My name is Raj Kama and this video is going to be very different. Well, there's something here on YouTube that I always see here in the comment section and it's people asking me why they can understand their teachers when they speak English. And here on YouTube, they can understand the teachers from YouTube uh, when they speak English, but they can't understand when they watch a movie in English or when they watch series in English without subtitles or when they have to speak with a native speaker of English in another country. Yeah, it's really a common question. People come to me and say, uh, Roger, I can understand you perfectly when you speak. I don't even need to read the subtitles in your video because you speak very clearly and slowly and it's amazing. But when I travel to the USA or to England, I couldn't understand anyone. It was like Greek to me. <laughs> All right, uh, the answer to this question is very simple. Teachers here on YouTube and teachers in, in general, including myself, try to speak as clearly as possible because we know that our viewers and our students are learning the language. If we speak too fast and with many slangs and dialects and regional expressions, that would hinder our viewers and students' learning process. So basically what most teachers here on YouTube do, and teachers in general do, including myself, um, even in, in schools, we speak slowly and clearly. Uh, does it mean that you've lied to us all the time? Does it mean that? <laughs> Does it mean that you don't really speak clearly in real life? Exactly. <laughs> when I'm talking to native speakers of English or to my friends who also speak English naturally, I don't really speak the way I'm speaking right now. I know, I've already made some videos saying, in this video I'm gonna speak English the same way I talk to my friends, I'm not gonna hold myself back, I'll use slangs and crazy expressions so on and so forth. Yes, I know, I've already said that in many videos, but the fact is, when I see that I'm either recording my voice or when I see that there's a camera pointing at me, there's a psychological thing that happens and I know that my students will be watching, I know that some students will be watching, and not only the advanced students but also my basic students and people trying to learn the language, so I feel the responsibility to speak clearly in my videos. Even when I don't want to speak clearly because I want to give you a more realistic experience, I end up speaking clearly because there's a hidden power in my mind that forces me into speaking slowly and clearly. That's why some of you can understand what I say and what some teachers here on YouTube say, uh, even without subtitles. So now we go to another thing that people constantly ask me. People ask me stuff like, uh, Hey Color, do you have an American accent? Do you have a British accent? Do you have an Australian accent? And some of you know, I've got a British accent. However, I need to point out that there isn't such a thing as a British accent, one British accent, because there are plenty of different accents. There are at least 50 different British accents in the UK. Like if you go to Manchester, they'll have an accent. If you go to Liverpool, it's going to be another accent. If you go to London, it's going to be a different accent. Uh, if you go to Newcastle, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, there are thousands of different accents in the UK. No, no, not thousands, just 50, around 50. A little bit more than 50 different accents in the UK. Within London, there are many different accents, plenty of different accents within one city, let alone in the whole country. As I said in some previous videos, my English is nothing similar to the classic British English that you hear in movies and in schools. You know that British English that people learn in schools or the British English that people see in movies such as Harry Potter. So there are over 50 different accents in the UK and the most famous one is named RP received pronunciation so so RP is the most common British accent in movies TV series news in language schools around the world and even though I speak with a British accent I don't speak RP but what will blow your mind is what I'm gonna say next <laughs> the most famous British accent in the world the RP 
from movie series, language schools, the news is only spoken by two percent of British people in the UK. Yes, ninety-eight percent of people don't speak like that in the UK. Okay, let's talk about RP a little bit.、Mm. In RP English, someone would say something like, "I would like to open the door. May I do that?" Oh, thank you. So it's really slow and clear. Whereas I would say something like, "I'd like to open the door. May I do that? Thanks, mate." So it's a little bit faster. Yes. So let's compare again. I would like to open the door. May I do that? Oh, thank you. I'd like to open the door. May I do that? Thanks, mate. So RP is a bit slow compared to the way most people in Britain really speak. I mean, there are many different accents in the UK, plenty of different accents, but one thing they have in common: they are faster than RP. Because RP was created specifically for the news and for movies and for language schools, so theoretically, when you speak RP, you've got to really speak slowly. You want to make yourself understood. A very strong characteristic in the classic British English and and let's call it RP, is to really pronounce the T's in the words. So they say things like better, beautiful, water, whereas I would say something like better, beautiful, water. Of course, when I'm teaching my students or when I'm talking here on YouTube, I don't really speak like that whatsoever. I say、uh, better, beautiful, water, you know, in a very American way. Because、um, when I start teaching on the very first day, I ask my students, so which accent do you prefer, the American English or the British English, and Ninety percent of my students prefer the American English, and I understand them because they're more exposed to the American accent、um, in movies, series, on on Netflix. So most of my students prefer to learn the American English with the American accent. So when I'm teaching, I change my accent altogether, and I don't say things like "better, beautiful water." I say "better, beautiful water." If you are my student, you know that. So I'm gonna break down my real accent here for you guys for the first time ever. I'm gonna break it down completely. I'm not gonna break it down completely because it would take me a long time, and I truly want this video to be quick. So I'll tell you two important characteristics. Okay, three or four important characteristics of my own accent. And if you like this kind of video, please leave a comment, and I'll make more videos like this one, breaking it down completely. So my accent is really peculiar. When I'm relaxed and when I'm with my friends and or family, I don't really pronounce the T's in the middle of the words. So I don't say better or later. I say better, later. Oh, see you later, mate. See you later. See you later. That's what I say. I don't say see you later. I say see you later. Oh, see you later, mate. I feel much better. I feel much better. So I don't say I feel much better. I say I feel much better. I don't say British or sentence. I say British sentence, British sentence. I don't say I'm going to say a sentence for you. No, I say I'm going to say a sentence for you. I'm going to say a sentence for you, and I don't pronounce the T's in the end of the words. So I don't say not that. I say not that. For example, no, I'm not. No, I'm not tired. No, I'm not. No, I'm not tired. I want to do that. I want to do that. I don't say I want to do that. I say. I want to do that. Yeah, I want to do that. And okay, I open my eyes, so I don't say bath. I say bath. I don't say example. I say example. Also, I don't pronounce the R's, so I don't say door. I say door. The door. The doors. I don't say name. What's your name? I say name. What's your name? I don't say take. I say tyke. I was tyke in the shower. I was tyke in the shower. I was tyke in the shower some minutes ago, and of course I speak a little bit faster. So I don't say I was taking a shower some minutes ago. No, I say I was tyke in the shower some minutes ago. If you like this kind of video, and if you want me to break down my accent completely, you know, little by little, and show you the tiny details of my accent and the way I pronounce words, please leave a comment, and I'll make a series of videos breaking it down and breaking down many different accents in English. Of course, I need to point out that I don't really speak like that with my students or, or with my viewers here on YouTube, because here I try to speak as clearly as possible, and with my students I try to speak as clearly as possible. 
and I even change my accent in classes. So, as I said before, I don't say water, I say water, better, you know, in a more American way. So, <laughs> now let's do an experiment. For some seconds, I'll speak English without holding myself back. For the first time ever here on the channel, I'll imagine I'm talking to a friend or to my family, and you'll tell me if you could understand me or not. And I'm gonna remove the subtitles for some seconds. Remember, this is not the way I talk to my students or here on my channel. I'm gonna show you how I speak when I'm relaxed at home or talking to my family or friends. So, I'll remove the subtitles now. One, two, three. And my, I'm not quite sure whether I should have done that or not. No, no, I wasn't really pissed off, I was just taking the piss. It's utterly different if you ask me. And my, I'm not quite sure whether I should have done that or not. No, no, I wasn't really pissed off, I was just taking the piss. It's utterly different if you ask me. Again, now with subtitles. And my, I'm not quite sure whether I should have done that or not. No, no, I wasn't really pissed off, I was just taking the piss. It's utterly different if you ask me. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, like our page on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Thank you very much and I'll see you next class. Yeah!